afternoon everyone good evening everyone am i audible to all of you just a yes in the chat happy feast everyone okay you will message on the adhyan tutorials profile which is the host profile not on the dhruv joshi profile which is the co-host will message me on the host profile i will send you all a message see i've sent you all a hi that is the profile you will message me on okay so everyone as you can see we are starting with a new lesson today so i hope you all have your books and pens and pencils ready so that we can write the meanings wherever possible Okay, everyone, I think everyone is now ready with all the stuff which is required. Smithesh Jadav, put your video off or else I'll have to put you out. All right, everyone. Chali. So guys, this title says something. It says nature created man, man and woman as equals. Raise your hands if you want to tell me what do you think is this lesson about. Naam padkar kya lagta hai? Kya hoga hai lesson? Dinesh from D N Nagar. Yes, sir. Bolo beta. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, teacher is uh, teaching to the students. Beta, the lesson kis baare mein hai? That's what I'm asking. Naam oh. Sir, hai. about of uh, natures. Okay, Dinesh. Thank you. All right. Uh, anyone else who wants to answer? Let's go with. Ashish Gupta from Saidham. Yes, Ashish, what do you think does this lesson talk about? Sir, does uh, the lesson talk about that uh, the men and uh, women are uh, equal? The, the poet, uh, the writer is telling that the, men, uh, the nature created the men and women as equal. Very good, very good. Thank you so much, Ashish. The answer is absolutely perfect. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So guys, as uh, yes, I see Nishita also writing on the chat, and I just heard what Ashish said. So Ashish, what he's trying to say is that sir, this lesson talks about equality of gender. Now, guys, we come from a country like India. We come from a country like India, which says. Everybody is equal, but if you see over the years, the treatment hasn't been equal for a lot of people. For example, we uh, fight with each other on the basis of caste. We fight with each other on the basis of gender. Gender inequality was always a part of our culture, where the woman was not allowed to get educated. She was not allowed to work, and she was always considered as a weaker gender. But now, if you see things are changing, and trust me, trust me, women are supposed to be treated equally. And you know who can do it? The men of their house. Okay, women go equal treatment. घर के जो males होते हैं ना वो ही दे सकते हैं. And I have been very fortunate to have seen my father respecting my mother so much, helping her in all the household chores. Because बहुत सारे ऐसे you know men होते हैं families में जो बोलते हैं कि यार ये घर के जो काम होते हैं वो मर्द के नहीं होते औरत के होते हैं. So let me tell you guys, work is not supposed to be separated on the basis of gender. जब घर पे खाना एक मेल खाता है 
तो घर का काम भी मेल कर सकता है जेंडर हैज गॉट नथिंग टू डू विथ वर्क अगर आप बोलते हैं कि बाइक के स्टंट लड़कियां नहीं मार सकती सिर्फ लड़के मार सकते हैं गलत है वर्क हैज गॉट नथिंग टू डू विथ जेंडर There is a very good movie that has come recently, which is Gunjan Saxena, where there is this one girl who wants to become a pilot. And in her generation, people usually say that a girl pilot can't become a pilot; a girl can't fly a plane. Right. But in that movie, you will see that the girl's father is the one who is very supportive. He says, "Why can't she? Why can't she drive? Right? Why can't she drive? Why can't she fly a plane?" So. it is very important for all the boys over here to know and all the girls over here to know work doesn't see gender aap agar ghar pe rehte hain to jitna utensils dhone ka kaam ek lady ka hai aapke ghar mein aapki mother karti hain sister karti hain jo bhi karta hai utna hi aapka bhi zimmedari hai okay so cleaning the house washing utensils sometimes cooking food sometimes just helping the woman in the family to cook some food uh cleaning the house it is all the responsibility of every single member of the family har ek insaan ka responsibility hai okay so so i want to ask you people to all the boys especially will you now help your mothers and your sisters in household chores will you all help them come on quickly 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 let me see how many boys agree with me okay so i see so many people telling me yes sir we will do it okay now i'll tell you how do i try and uh, you know help my mother and my wife at home my father also helps okay so now see i'll tell you so one thing i'll tell you is that i know that i have limitations i cannot cook food because i don't understand it that much i can do a bit of it thoda bahut if someone tells me ye karo wo karo i can help but i cannot literally take the lead in cooking okay but there are certain because cooking needs skills but don't you think there are certain things that you can do where there is no skill required like doing utensils utensils right so doing utensils doesn't need skills then washing uh, sorry wiping uh, the floor doesn't doesn't need skills right there are certain jobs where you don't need skills and that's how you can help them okay so let us see what this lesson tells us and this is a beautiful lesson let me tell you okay so keep your pens and pencils and everything ready to write the meanings wherever necessary okay the house and its surroundings are a site of peace in the early morning of april so guys this is a story which is based 
in a particular uh, village of india not literally a village but an area which is very close to nature in the mountains okay so this says the house and its surroundings are a site of peace site of peace as in they are a scene of peace matlab jo surrounding hai jo ghar hai wo itna zyada peaceful hai itna peaceful hai ki dekhkar aapko bahut acha lagega especially in the early mornings of april when it is summer it nestles by the side of a small stream of crystal clear water it nestles nestles the meaning is given it is very close to a small stream of crystal clear water what do you mean by crystal clear very clear yes wherein you can see everything inside the water which is rare in the sin cities like mumbai in mumbai you will hardly find a place where there is crystal clear water right but you go to himachal pradesh you go to uttarakhand you go to ladakh you go to kashmir there where, where there is a lot of uh, you know cleanliness you will see this crystal clear water so steam stream tumbles down the great mountains only 2 miles or so away so this is a very not not that great uh, not that big a stream okay ye jo stream hai itni badi bhi nahi hai ye uh, choti si stream hai which runs around 2 miles okay there is a stretch of hundreds of acres of fertile land rolling with yellow mustard flowers between the mountain range and the house so this part says टम्बल्स का मीनिंग मतलब टम्बल्स क्या होता है सिंपली फ्लोस टम्बलिंग इज सिंपली फ्लोइंग फॉलोइंग सो देर इज अ स्ट्रेच स्ट्रेच एज इन देर इज अज एरिया ऑफ लैंड विच इज इज हंड्रेड ऑफ एकर एकर इज द यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट ऑफ लैंड ओके लैंड इज नॉट मेजर्ड इन किलोमीटर्स दैट इज डिस्टेंस लैंड का एरिया इज मेजर्ड इन एकर्स Okay, so hundreds of acres of land which is fertile. Why is it fertile? Because it has soil, it has water and stream beside it. Fresh water, uh, has in its midst, and it has yellow mustard flowers. So that's a type of flower between the mountain range and the house. A garden is in front of the house. Trees of many kinds, bearing flowers of various lines, and fruits grow on all sides of the house. so there is a garden which is right in front of the house there are trees of many kinds bearing bearing as in having or holding bearing is having or holding bearing is having or holding flowers of various kinds various lines as in various sorry various hues hues is colors please write it down hues hues is colors various colors various colors and fruits grow on all sides of the house so there are a lot of trees with a lot of flowers colorful flowers and a lot of fruits that all grow around the house the courtyard smells of jasmine which blooms in bunches of white pearls so there's a courtyard courtyard is nothing but a garden it smells like jasmine which blooms blooms as in blossoms in bunches of white pearls so they have compared the the uh, the jasmine flower with pearls pearls as in moti the fragrance mingles with the thin smoke that rises from the sweet smelling incense stick so the fragrance fragrance is a pleasant smell theek hai fragrance is a pleasant smell jisko aap smell bolte ho wo gandi hoti hai when you say you know it's smelling so that's that's something that is negative okay and uh, fragrance is something which is good pleasant and this fragrance mingles mingles ka matlab mixes mingles means mixes guys please calm down i see some students constantly asking me iska meaning kya uska meaning kya thoda ruk jao please aa raha hu main bataunga main not running anywhere have patience if i don't tell you if i miss it out then you can ask me i haven't even reached the altar and the incense sticks 
and mingling and people have started asking mingles is to mix so the fragrance mixes with the thin smoke that rises from the sweet smelling incense sticks okay incense incense sticks are agarbattis jisko hum agarbatti bolte hain wo incense sticks hota hai the burning incense sticks are glowing at the altar of god in the middle of the courtyard ab maine ye altar tak main pahuncha bhi nahi tha and then some people are asking what is altar patience patience i am right here so these burning incense sticks are glowing at the altar of god altar is nothing but that little space which you have in front of the temple jo temple hota hai jo aapke ghar pe temple bana hua hai uske samne chhota sa ek space rakhte hain hum jiske upar aap agarbatti rakhte ho diya rakhte ho aap wahan pe prasad rakhte ho ओके okay, उसको वॉल्टर बोलते हैं राइट नाउ गाइस वी कम टू द फर्स्ट मेन कैरेक्टर ऑफ द स्टोरी ओके द फर्स्ट मेन कैरेक्टर इज आशांग बी इफ यू हैव द बुक द टेक्स्ट बुक प्लीज अंडरलाइन आशांग बी आशांग बी इज द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर सो आशांग बी इज इन हर रीडिंग रूम एंड इज बिजी राइटिंग एन आर्टिकल सो अशांग भी कोई मे बी पता नहीं कौन है दिखते हैं आगे पर शी इज इन रीडिंग रूम एंड शी इज बिजी राइटिंग एन आर्टिकल लेट अस यू शी सो शी इज अ मिडल एज मदर ऑफ थ्री चिल्ड्रन एंड अ जर्नलिस्ट एंड वुमन राइट एक्टिविस्ट सो हु इज शी शी इज अ मिडल एज वुमन मिडल एज वुमन मतलब शी वुड बी इन अर फोर्टीज शी इज अ मदर ऑफ थ्री चिल्ड्रन तीन बच्चे हैं उसको प्लीज अंडरलाइन दिस एंटायर पार्ट अबाउट आशांग भी you might have to answer uh, something some things out of this this so she is the middle aged mother of three children by profession she is a journalist which i am very sure you all know what a journal, journalist and she is a women rights activist and a social activist hai jo women ke rights ke liye fight karti hai and in many times in villages there are many men and many uh, in laws who exploit their daughter in laws and who may be exploit their daughters उनको धोखा दे देते हैं उनको परेशान करते हैं मारते हैं डोमेस्टिक वॉयेंस करते हैं तो उनके लिए ये फाइट करती हैं। नाउ वी गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर दैट इज लैंथोई 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 इज अनदर कैरेक्टर ऑफ द स्टोरी इफ यू सी द नेम्स दे कम दे बिलोंग टू द द हिमाचली पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया और द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया ओके जहां पे ऐसे नाम होते हैं so lanthoi is her youngest daughter okay she enters the room she is an intelligent girl bahut hi hoshiyar ladki hai okay bahut hi hoshiyar hai bahut hi samajhdar intelligent si ladki hai and today she looks thoughtful and she takes a seat by her mother's side so today when you look at her she looks a little thoughtful thoughtful as in someone who's buried in thoughts who is Busy with thoughts. बहुत ही कुछ तो दिमाग में चल रहा है उसका बहुत सोच रही हो. She comes and sits beside her, mother beside her mother. At the sight of her child, Ashang Bhi lovingly asks, "Have you finished your study, my dear?" So अपने बेटे को देखकर Ashang Bhi प्यार से उसको पूछती है, "बेटा homework खत्म कर लिया क्या? काम खत्म कर लिया? पढ़ाई खत्म कर लिया?" Yes, mother. I finished it last night. Today being Sunday, I want to do something interesting. so you can see such an intelligent and such a nice and an obedient girl wo bol rahi hai ha mummy kal raat ko hi khatam kar liya padhai kyunki aaj sunday hai na to mujhe aaj sunday ko padhai nahi karni i want to do something interesting to sunday ko padhai nahi karni padhai iske liye din pehle hi padhai kar ke rakh li usne lanthoi says and waits for her mother's response tell me what you want to do kya karna beta batao ashang bhi ask her quite amused amused as in quite amazed quite Uh, happy maybe mother tomorrow i am going to represent the siroi lily house as a speaker in the symposium in our school so guys like in many schools you have blue house green house or and red house yellow house similarly many schools have saint anthony saint john saint lawrence and saint teresa वैसे ही अलग अलग स्कूल्स में अलग अलग होता है जैसे दिन सम स्कूल्स हैव ruby and sapphire and uh topaz and all of that right similarly maybe her school had their houses based on flowers names of flowers so she says tomorrow mummy i am going to represent the the uh, seroy lily house as a speaker in the symposium of our school what is symposium the meaning is on the right a meeting at which experts have discussion 
ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट ओके एक ऐसा मीटिंग होता है जिसमें ग्रुप डिस्कशन होता है एक सब्जेक्ट देते हैं उस पर आपको डिस्कस करना होता है द टॉपिक इज गॉड क्रिएटेड मेन एंड वेमेन एज इक्वल्स टॉपिक है भगवान ने मेन को एंड वेमेन को इक्वली बनाया विल यू स्पेयर सम टाइम टू हैव अ डिस्कशन विथ मी लेंथोई प्रेसिस ऑन हर मदर तो मम्मी को उसने बोला प्रेसिस का मीनिंग है दिया हुआ है परसुएट और कन्विंसिस ओके उसने मम्मी को थोड़ा कन्विंस करने की कोशिश कर दी है मम्मी विल यू स्पेयर सम टाइम स्पेयर सम टाइम एज इन Will you will you find out sometime? Put a time. Nikal over. Yeah, please. May I go help? Can I get a lesson? May I get a point? Can I get a point? Can I get a point? Let us see what happens ahead. Lanthoy has just had a discussion with her father on the topic. So Lanthoy ka just abhi father se discussion ho gaya topic pe. The name is Tomba. Tomba is the father. Her father is a husband, supportive of the activities of his wife, and a loving father. So he's a very good husband and a very good father. He's a lawyer and a social worker who advocates the cause of women. So if you see, both husband and wife, women ke rights ke liye kam karte hain. Husband is a lawyer by profession, and uh, Ashang bhi is a journalist by profession. Right? Okay, everyone. I want you to answer these two questions. Do you see these two questions here? Make a list of the beautiful natural surroundings and what help did Lanthoy need from her mother. ये दोनों का मुझे आंसर चैट में जल्दी से भेजो. Okay, so people have given me some really brilliant answers. Yes, the first is crystal clear water, green mountains, yellow mustard flowers, fragrance, vagare 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 vagare. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And what help did Lanthoy need from her mother? She wanted her mother to spare some time to have a discussion with her mother, as she needed some help with the symposium topic. Brilliant answer. Brilliant answer. Good job, people. Proud of you. चलिए बढ़ेंगे आगे सो तोम्बा हर फादर इज अजबेंड सपोर्टिव ऑफ एवरी एक्टिविटी दैट द वाइफ डज एंड ही इज अ वेरी लविंग फादर ही इज अ लॉयर एंड अ सोशल वर्कर एडवोकेट्स एडवोकेट्स एज इन फाइट्स फॉर द कॉज ऑफ वीमेन एडवोकेट्स एज इन ही फाइट्स एंड सपोर्ट्स द कॉज ऑफ वीमेन ही इज ऑलवेज प्राउड ऑफ हिज वाइफ द टू डॉटर्स एंड द एंड द सन सो गैस अगर क्वेश्चन आया तो तीन बच्चे कौन कौन है सो देर आर टू डॉटर्स एंड वन सन in times of need he extends his helping hand to his wife and children and to the society at large so whenever he gets time as as soon as he finds out some time forget finding out some time whenever whenever there is 
अनीड जब भी जरूरत है उसका ही विल एक्सटेंड ही विल गिव इज हेल्प टू इज वाइफ एंड चिल्ड्रन जब भी उनको जरूरत है इज ऑलवेज देर एंड नॉट जस्ट टू फैमिली बट ऑल्सो टू द सोसाइटी एट लार्ज तो हर अच्छे कामों में हेल्प करता है लोगों को He does not discriminate between a men's work and a women's work anywhere. So he does not discriminate between a men's work and a women's. What is discriminate? Discriminate is to treat one person or a group better than or worse than another. No, Nageshwar, you cannot ask your doubt on mic. You will have to answer me. By the way, क्या बात है बेटा मालूम ही तो तू ऐसा निकलेगा वाओ ऑल राइट लेट्स रेज्यूम या सो ही डज नॉट डिस्क्रिमिनेट बिटवीन अ मैंस वर्क एंड अ वुमेन्स वर्क एनीवेयर so he does not differentiate ke ye kaam mera nahi hai main ghar ghar nahi sambhalunga wagera wagera i remember guys in this movie i don't remember the name it's i think it's le panga this movie uh, has kangra ranaut in it in the lead and she is shown as a kabaddi player who wants to play for india but because she becomes a mother she quits her kabaddi and then one day when uh, her son is really upset with her the father tells the son hamare liye bahut kuch sacrifice kiya hai and then the son tells the father daddy this is your mistake this is your mistake why couldn't you tell her that no problem you go and play kabaddi for india and i will take care of the child why didn't you tell him that tell her that theek hai why did you let her do it if you were really so good you would have asked her to do her continue with her work and you would have asked her to uh, you know look after her career you could have looked at looked after me so he does not discriminate between a man's work and a woman's work anyway Sorry guys I got muted. Yeah. He shares equally sorry. Yeah, he shares equally with his wife in doing the household chores like cleaning, washing, cooking and feeding the children. Ab is pe se guys cooking needs skills I understand. But cleaning, washing and feeding the children doesn't need skills and any man can do that. Had he not shared in these activities in the way he does, his wife would not have been a successful professional. अगर वो ये सब में हेल्प नहीं करते तो उसकी वाइफ एक प्रोफेशनल अच्छे नहीं बन पाती थी क्योंकि वो बेचारे घर पे रह जाती थी ही होल हार्टेडली बिलीव इन इक्वालिटी इ रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ क्लास रिलीजन एंड जेंडर तो वो बहुत दिल से मानते हैं दैट इक्वालिटी होना चाहिए क्लास रिलीजन जेंडर डजेंट मैटर जेंडर मतलब आप मालूम है क्या होता है द फैक्ट ऑफ बींग फीमेल और मेल इन इज डिस्कशन विथ हिज डॉटर he laments laments as in he complains expresses grief and sorrow sadness complains over the great injustice done to women in the society telling her my dear child the world is still full of inequalities we have to find a way to bring equality between men and women to wo bolte hain ki of course cheeze badal rahi hain log badal rahe hain lekin wo bolte hain ki bahut zaruri hai bahut zaruri hai ki hum abhi bhi equality ko lekar aaye अभी भी क्वालिटी नहीं है मेन एंड वीमेन के बीच में बेटा स्नेहा राणे होल हार्टेडली होल मतलब पूरा हार्ट मतलब दिल पूरे दिल से कम ऑन लेट अस नॉट बी सो वीक है ना बेटा इतना वीक नहीं होना चाहिए हमने थोड़ा हमने सोचना चाहिए थोड़ा सा बोलते ना ट्राई करना चाहिए यू नो कि हमको खुद को मालूम पड़ रहा है क्योंकि सिंपल है बेटा 
जो डिफिकल्ट है वो मैं करूंगा आपको हेल्प बट इतना डिपेंड ऐसा मत होल है ना बेटा तो अगर होल हार्टली तो सोचो ब्रेक करो वर्ड्स को है ना तो होल करोगे तो होल मतलब पूरा हार्ट मतलब दिल पूरे दिल से समझा बेटा दिस विल हेल्प यू इम्प्रूव योर इंग्लिश दिस फॉर एवरी वन कोशिश करने का समझने का ओके थैंक यू स्नेहा ओके हर फादर्स वर्ड आर स्टिल रिंगिंग इन द इयर्स ऑफ लैंथॉय एंड शी टेल्स हर मदर ऑफ व्हाट हर फादर हैज टोल्ड हर सो ये जो बातें हैं उसके कानों में अब तक गूंज रही है फादर की एंड शी गोज एंड टेल्स हर मदर के डैडी ने ऐसा बोला अप्रिशिएटिव ऑफ ऑफ हर हजबेंड फॉर हर व्यूज अप्रिशिएटिव एज इन शी लाइक हर हजबेंड व्यूज शी अप्रिशिएटेड अप्रिशिएट का मतलब आई एम श्योर आप सब बताओ बच्चों appreciated matlab to praise someone so she praises her husband's views ashang bhi says her father is right in no society do women and women enjoy the same opportunities enjoyed by men it is because of your father that i feel no difference or inequality at home but outside our home i have seen that women have been subjugated in many ways ab subjugated is a difficult word to iska meaning diya hua hai controlled and dominated over तो बोलती है बेटा ये तो तुम्हारे डैडी हैं घर पे इतना अच्छे से मुझे ट्रीट करते हैं इक्वली रखते हैं इसके लिए मुझे घर पे कभी फील नहीं होता है बट घर के बाहर आज भी मैं देखती हूँ लड़कियों को बहुत कंट्रोल और डोमिनेट किया जाता है इट इज अगेंस्ट द बिल ऑफ गॉड भगवान के नाम पे लोग करते लेकिन ये भगवान के भी खिलाफ है गॉड एज सेंट मेन एंड वेमेन टू आर अर्थ टू शेयर द जॉय एंड सोरोज ऑफ लाइफ इक्वली टू शेयर हिज ब्लेसिंग and to enjoy the bounty of nature equally bounty as in the beauty of nature equally this is what your topic means so ashangvi is helping her her daughter and she says that bhagwan ne insaan ko jab bheja zameen par to gender mein bheja hai to dono ko equally joy and sorrow share karne ke liye bheja hai dono ko equally bless kiya hua hai dono bhi nature ko equally enjoy kar paaye iske liye bheja hua hai ye hai aapke topic ka matlab I hope everyone is clear with this. All right. So Ashangvi knows well that men and women are equal. Women, who are half of the human race, are as important as men. So, jitne important men hain, utne hi important women bhi hain. Equally important hain. As a mother of, as as a matter of fact, mother is the fountain of love in a family. Very true. The bond of love is beyond comparison with anything else in this world. Guys, one thing you have to observe. If mother is sick for some days, mother is sick for some days. Then the house is full of people. Because she is the one who not only just holds the baby, but she is the one who 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 is the one हर इंसान को एक साथ पकड़ कर रखने वाली होती है मम्मी वुमन होती है एंड वो फैमिली जो एडुकेटेड होती है वो एडुकेटेड तभी होती है अगर फैमिली की जो वुमन होती है वो एडुकेटेड होती है इसके लिए इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू एडुकेट फीमेल्स एंड एडुकेट गर्ल्स एंड डॉटर्स बिकॉज इफ द डॉटर इफ इफ द वुमन ऑफ द फैमिली इज एडुकेटेड एंड द फैमिली इज एडुकेटेड ओके एंड आई कैन से दिस विद प्रूफ बिकॉज माई मदर इज एडुकेटेड एंड आई नो वट हेल्प डज शी प्रोवाइड और मतलब कितनी चीजें होती है जो हमको पता ही नहीं होती बट शी नोज इट वेरी वेल ओके एंड बिकॉज शी नोज इट शी रीड अलॉट शी शी वॉच इज न्यूज एंड शी लव टू रीड एंड एंड यू नो शी शी इज वेरी एडुकेटेड वुमन सो शी हेल्प अस नो अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वी डोंट नो बट शी नोज ओके सो जो माँ होती है वो पढ़ी लिखी होनी चाहिए लड़की होती है पढ़ी लिखी होनी चाहिए एंड स्टूडेंट दिस लेसन इज एक्सट्रीमली इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर बॉयज बिकॉज लड़कों आप लोगों को जो सिखाया जाता है आप जो सीखते हो ना वो हर बार सही नहीं होता है एंड दिस एज इज द राइट एज टू अंडरस्टैंड यू हैव टू ट्रीट एवरी बॉडी इक्वली यू कैन नॉट से एक लड़की को कि तू लड़की है इसके लिए तू ये नहीं कर सकती क्यों नहीं कर सकती जरूर कर सकती है आज इंडिया में जितने ओलंपिक के मेडल्स लड़के लाते हैं उससे डबल ओलंपिक मेडल्स लड़कियां लाती है इंडिया के लिए एम आई राइट और रॉन्ग राइट होना मैं एंड रिमेम्बर इफ यू ट्रीट योर यू नो योर सिस्टर इक्वली योर मदर इक्वली यू एबल टू ट्रीट एवरी गर्ल इक्वली 
you have to respect everybody no matter what gender and for the girls also you have to listen not every man is wrong not every man is bad okay jo aadmi acha hai uski izzat karo usko respect do ladkiyan tum bhi okay respect is not about gender respect is about give and take jo respect deta hai usko respect dena chahiye and boys remember support women support your sisters support your friends support your mothers help them in whatever you can do okay i hope this lesson teaches you a lot okay she writes and talks about such topics who is she she who writes about these topics kon likhta hai topics to par jaldi bolo mere ko kon hai journalist kon hai journalist kon hai journalist kon hai very good it's ashang bhi her daughter do a child also understands well that her mother is not a person of lesser quality than her father she says our our home is full of love with you mother the mother beams with joy beams with joy is smiles with joy okay the mother smiles with joy at the words of her daughter she is very happy no guys you don't have a geography lecture you have english lecture today both the lectures are english lecture all right this bond of love is beyond comparison with anything else in the world which bond are they talking about guys which bond are they talking about jaldi batao mere ko which bond jaldi jaldi batao mere ko which bond are they talking about which bond of love yes the bond between mother and the daughter or the mother and the child is the bond that they're talking about here it is because of this that motherhood has been glorified glorified ka meaning diya hua praised appreciated and women accept the challenges in life to become a mother becoming a mother is not an easy thing guys when you become a mother the entire system of the body changes the entire system of the body changes and it might get deteriorated also the mother's body becomes really uh, you know sick and ill after that bahut uske pain hote hain maine to aisa bhi padha hai while delivering a child the pain that a mother goes through is as equal as breaking of 200 bones jab kisi insaan ki 200 haddiyan tootti hain to kaisa pain hota hai waisa pain hota hai jab ek bacche ko apni mummy deliver karti hai bahar is duniya mein lekar aati hai iske liye motherhood is so important and then there are some people who say ladki nahi chahiye are woh ladki nahi chahiye aur lekin bachcha chahiye to ladki to honi chahiye na you should have a mother right showing deep affection ashang bhi continues deep affection is deep love showing love pioneer women testify to the equality of women with men pioneer the meaning is given a person who is among the first to take up a cause especially in her in a new region who was the first woman in india to start educating uh, girls especially in maharashtra naam suna rahega aapne history mein yes it was savitri bai phule तो जो औरतें पहले कुछ शुरू करी टेस्टिफाई टेस्टिफाई मतलब प्रोवाइड अ प्रूफ फॉर एविडेंस द विमेन हु स्टार्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट आर द एक्चुअली गिव यू प्रूफ दैट मेन एंड विमेन आर इक्वल दे आर इक्वली टैलेंटेड एंड इक्वली पावरफुल एक्चुअली लाइफ इज नॉट पॉसिबल विदाउट बोथ वुमेन एंड विमेन ऐसी भी कोई लड़की है जो बोलते हैं कि मेन हमको चाहिए ही नहीं दुनिया में लेट मी टेल दीज वुमेन ऑल्सो दैट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू लिव विदाउट मेन and the men who feel nay women are useless let me tell you you cannot live without women agar dono mein se ek gender hi chahiye tha duniya chalane ke liye to bhagwan do gender banate nahi na logic banta hai ki nahi agar ek se kaam chalta to bhagwan dusra gender banate nahi so you have to understand that both men and women are important 
दोनों ही जरूरी है राइट लेंथॉय हैज बिन फैसिनेटेड बाय द स्टोरीज ऑफ पायनियर वीमेन प्लीज राइट द मीनिंग ऑफ फैसिनेटेड फैसिनेटेड इज इंटरेस्टेड एंड अमेज इंटरेस्टेड एंड अमेज Yes, inspired could also be the answer. Right. So, Lanthoy has always been inspired by the stories of pioneer women. Her grandmother had narrated many stories of brave queens like Lanthoy Gambi and. Kuriyangani. So these are two women, maybe from the northeastern part of India, who were as brave as kings. Can you give me some names of really strong women in the history of our country? Yes, Jhansi ki Rani Lakshmi Bai. You've seen the movie, right? Rani Lakshmi Bai. Isme apne dikhaya hai ki kaise wo fight kar dhijam aata hai. Yes. शिवाजी महाराज मदर इंदिरा गांधी महारानी ताराबाई अहिल्याबाई होलकर महारानी येसुबाई गड पद्मावती यस कैन यू गिव मी सम नेम्स ऑफ विमेन हुव मेड इंडिया प्राउड इन द फील्ड ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स पीटी उषा मेरी कॉम पी वी सिंधु साइना नेहवाल हिमा दास साक्षी साक्षी मलिक गीता फोगाट सानिया मिर्जा स्मृति मंधाना मिथाली राज झुलन गोस्वामी वेरी गुड कल्पना चावला वो साइंट वो हमारी एस्ट्रोनॉट एस्ट्रोन, थी वो first indian women to go to space in fact aap logo ne dekha hai kya movie um uh, mission mangal in that movie also the chief architect of the entire mission mars was a woman the role which was played by vidya balan in that movie if you remember when tapsi pannu's character leaves the mission mangal and goes to see her husband who was uh, injured in the hospital he was there so the husband asks tumhare mission mars ka kya hua she says maine chhod diya husband says but kyun to she says tumhara idhar kaun dhyan deta tha so he says you should go back tumhara ka mera kaam kaam hai to tumhara kaam bhi to kaam hai तो शीशा लेकिन तुम्हारा बात तुम्हारी बात अलग है तो द हस्बैंड सेज नहीं अगर मैं देश की सेवा करता हूँ बॉर्डर पे रहेंगे तो तुम भी देश की सेवा कर रहे हो साइंस लैब में रहेंगे यू हैव टू गो बैक राइट सो दैट इज हाउ हस्बैंड्स हैव टू बी दैट इज हाउ फादर्स हैव टू बी दैट इज हाउ ब्रदर्स हैव टू बी एंड दैट इज हाउ एवरी मैन हैज टू बी देर वर ऑल्सो मेनी ब्रेव वुमेन अमंग द कॉमन पीपल दो वुमेन these women as uh, as her grandmother narrated were makers of home makers of home as in ghar sambhalte the family ko dekhte the society ko sambhalte the aur desh chalate the they were civilizing influences civilizing educating 
इन्फ्लुएंस मतलब इफेक्ट इफेक्ट एट द सेम टाइम दे वर ऑल्सो एडवेंचर एंड क्लेम दे आर शेयर ऑफ फ्री लैंड प्लाउड एंड रेस क्रॉप विद ओन हैंड्स एंड रोज कैटल यही औरत जो घर पे काम करी गई यही औरत खेती भी करती थी मॉडर्न वीमेन हैव बिकम माउंटेनियर्स नेचुरलिस्ट एस्ट्रोनॉट साइंटिस्ट सोल्जर्स एंड पोलिटिकल लीडर्स दिस प्रूव दैट देर इज नथिंग अमेन के नॉट डू एंड ऑल्सो दैट वीमेन एंड मेन वर क्रिएटेड एज इक्वल्स आई थिंक ये बहुत सिंपल है समझने में then she asked her mother for the further mother you've thrown light on the equality of men and women and also have emphasized that the world is still an unequal world then what i would like to know is if there are moral social and legal provisions to enable women to express their physical and mental potential and to set themselves free from such suppression to abhi beti se sawal puchti hai mummy you've thrown light on thrown light on matlab you've given me an inform given me an explanation or you've given information about equality of men and women you also emphasized emphasized matlab you also focused you also highlighted that the world is still an unequal place then what i would like to know is mujhe janna hai ki kya aise koi moral social and legal provisions hain legal matlab law se related provisions yani rules hain kya जो वेमेन को अलाउ करे अपनी फिजिकल एंड मेंटल पोटेंशियल को दिखाने के लिए पोटेंशियल एज इन पावर क्वालिटीज अमेज एट द क्वेश्चन द क्यूरियोसिटी ऑफ द डॉटर आशन बी एड्स क्यूरियोसिटी मतलब ईगरनेस क्यूरियोसिटी मतलब ईगरनेस लेट्स सी आशन बी क्या बोलती है देर आर मेनी अंडर द under the aegis of the united nations under the aegis is the matlab with the protection and support of the united nations apne suna rahega un to un ke under bahut sare aise laws hain there are declarations for a new world of equality it has the following dimensions dimension matlab aspects following uske rules hain सबसे पहला इक्वल एक्सेस टू बेसिक सोशल सर्विसेज इंक्लूडिंग हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन इक्वल एक्सेस एक्सेस मतलब इक्वल यूज ओके लड़कियों को इक्वल सोशल सर्विसेज यानी कि हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन मिलना चाहिए इक्वल पार्टिसिपेशन इन पॉलिटिकल एंड इकोनॉमिक डिसीजन मेकिंग इसके लिए आपको पता रहेगा पार्लियामेंट में कुछ सीट जो होती है वो लड़कियों के लिए रिजर्व होती है इक्वल रिवॉर्ड फॉर इक्वल वर्क अगर एक पोजीशन पे अगर एक आदमी को फोर्टी थाउजेंड सैलरी मिलती है वही पोजीशन पे लड़की को थर्टी थाउजेंड नहीं मिलनी चाहिए लड़की को भी फोर्टी थाउजेंड मिलनी चाहिए एंड एलिमिनेशन ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड वायलेंस अगेंस्ट वुमेन एलिमिनेशन मतलब गेटिंग रेड ऑफ टू फिनिश ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड वायलेंस अगेंस्ट वुमेन ये चार एस्पेक्ट पे रूल्स बने हुए हैं देन द मदर कंक्लूडेड कंक्लूडेड एज एन एंडेड देन द मदर एंडेड उन्होंने अपना ये स्पीच को एंड किया my dear daughter we can affirm along with the united nations that men and women are equal affirm as in we can confirm that with we can agree with the united nations that men and women are equal lentoy understands what her mother means and what the topic of the symposium means to mummy ko samajh mein aaya ki mummy acha lentoy ko samajh mein aaya ki mummy kya bol rahi hai और वो ये भी समझ में आया कि सिंपोजियम का मतलब क्या है दस कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ सक्सेस द नेक्स्ट डे आफ्टर थैंकिंग हर मदर द गर्ल ऑफ ट्वेल्व वॉट इज लेंथ एज शी इज ट्वेल्व इयर्स ओल्ड शी हैपीली रश इज आउट ऑफ द रूम रश इज एज इन शी रन आउट द रूम इन द ब्राइट मॉर्निंग सन द ब्लू स्काई मीट्स द रेंज ऑफ द ईस्टर्न माउंटेन्स तो सुबह सुबह ब्यूटिफुल से एकदम मॉर्निंग आ गया है एंड स्मॉल गर्ल इज ऑलवेज फैसिनेटेड fascinated interested amazed inspired by the small trail small trail as in trail ka matlab abhi bana guys aapko the marks the foot marks which winds up the distant purple mountain the road trail matlab the road that winds up the mountain so guys your homework is going to be activity 1a okay activity 1a and activity 3 activity 1a and activity 3 is your homework is that clear everyone
all right so i don't think you people have any doubts so with that students i will stop the lecture here yeah chalo thank you so much bye take care